It's the final. The winner of the A1 Combat Cup is coming. Who's it gonna be, Nikki? First up, Gurkhan, the supreme fighting machine, Ozkan. Taking on Greece, Iron Mike Zambini. Oh, it is time. Strap yourselves in. It is time for the final, the A1 World Combat Cup, and we are on fire. The voice, Michael Chavello. Well, Michael, the Supreme Fighting Machine, indeed, he's had a tough road to the final, has Oz Khan. Is he up to the challenge? Is he able to overcome the ever-elusive, bigger than big hurdle, Iron like Mike Zambini? Copy that big, five foot one. Oh, heat up the Suvlaki! Serve up the Saganaki! Get him all out first, because Greece is Zambides indeed strolls to the ring yet again. Pre fight ritual. Have a look at it. Bit of psychology going on there. There is no love lost no between love lost at all. Khan Oskan and his arch nemesis, Mike Zambides. Let's go to the lovely Nikki Whelan. 53 wins and 42 knockouts. Five time world superweight kickboxing champion. Please welcome back. Gurkhan, the Supreme Fighting Machine, Ozkan! And in the red corner, you've seen his power tonight. He's punching with both hands and kicking with both legs. He hails from Greece. Are there any Greeks in the house? Summit of Mount Olympus to get a bigger ovation than that. The final is set. Third man in centering will be the living legend, Uncle Dave Hedgecott. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first A1 World Combat Cup in Melbourne. a little bit of pyros happening ringside <laughs> but the real fireworks is just about to start strap yourselves in folks don't go to the fridge don't go to the toilet don't go anywhere the stand out Zambini is an Oscar the dream final the whole world has been waiting for last time these two monoliths met it was Zambini with a 12th round KO that floored Oscar unconscious for five minutes right here at the Vodafone Arena Folks, Michael Chavello, the Hammer Mark Castanini. We are joined by the super promoter Tarek Solek, and the time for talk is over. It's all electric here, Michael. Mark, everything is electric. What about the fireworks that Unbelievable. Place? <laughs> As I said, big fireworks, Tarek, but the fireworks, the real fireworks, are just about to begin with these two. Nice outside thigh kick to the lead leg there from Oscar. You can cut the atmosphere, the intensity with a brick. Uppercut from Zambides, already playing mind games and taunting Oscar. Overhand right from Zambides. Inside thigh kick from Oscar. Overhand left from Zambides. Oscar bobbing and weaving. And Zambo just smiles at him. Outside thigh kick from the little pocket rocket, the little mini me. Good start here from both men. Jab from Oscar. Will the ticking time bomb explode? Jab, outside thigh kick, good evasion of the hook. Nice combination work there from Ozkan. He scores the game with an inside thigh kick. Zambides goes to the outside lead thigh. Ozkan almost leaned dangerously low into that round kick. They are both looking the goods here in the opening round hammer. Well, Ozkan has had the harder road to the final, Michael. There's no doubt about it. He's, in, he's uh, endured some tough opponents and he's taken some big shots. So he's doing well just to make it. Oh, the Well, you know, um, you, you, you got to expect...
expect anything from both these guys because they both know that it's a very tough fight for both of them. You know. Uh, Oscar has to keep his gloves up. Those looping punches of Zambides are going to land and tell the tale if he doesn't keep his hands up. I think I think the best thing he's got to do is he's got to be more confident when he's throwing his punches because if he's not, Michael will hurt him. I think he's a little bit on the back foot. Oscar doesn't want to be over the neutral corner. Zambides goes high with the right down kick. The little dynamo's unloaded on him here in the first round. Oscar's got to get out of that corner. He's got to move on. Zambides sizing him up for the big sakanaki, the big right hand. Well, we see up and Uncle Dave separates them. Under pressure, we see Oscan backing himself up to the ropes. He can't back himself onto the ropes because that is where Zambides is the strongest. He'll work the body, he'll work the head. And Oscan has to be mobile. He's got to be trying to get in the center. Oh, a little bit south of the border. That one's way down south. One point. And a definite one point deduction. A strike to the groin. Almost put his testicles through his back hammer. Well, Dave Hedgecock taking the point straight off. Tarek, how did you see that one? It was a deliberate shot straight to the groin. I honestly didn't see the shot, so I can't comment about it, but um, deliberate is a little bit uh, harsh. Michael. I'm sure I'm sure we can see it on the replay, uh, Michael, and I can make a comment. Mate, I respect both these 100%, and uh, I believe both of them deliberately won't try to be rude with each other. It was a low shot, point deduction from Dave Hedgecock, and again, Zambini's digging to the rib cage. Oscar firing back off his right hand, just a slip in the corner. It is rallying back, and a weak kick while Oscar was on the canvas. Oscar didn't like that. Uncle Dave giving the warning a late okay. kick from Zambides while Oscar was down on his knees. Bad blood here, Hammer. Bad oh, blood. Zambides has got a lot of bad intentions happening. Left hook from Zambides, then goes high. This place is alive. It's a happening at the Vodafone Arena. Tarek in the round one. I've never seen a. Uh, Mike uh, act like that and um, that's a bit sad because I respect him one million percent as a fighter and um, uh, I, I think that doesn't suit him. I think he deserves a lot better than that. Let's have a look how I went down in the opening round. The overhand right there from Zambides. Jab from Oscan. I don't think it was, it was a low blow. It was a low blow, but a low blow. to call it intentional, to call it intentional. I don't know. It, I suppose when Mike is that short, you don't know what to call it, do you? <laughs> Could have hit him in a kneecap. Well, what a show Tarek Solak has put on for the first ever A1 World Combat Cup. Here we go, second round of the final. These two men do not like each other, folks. A lot of bad blood needs to be sorted out in this main event. Oscar is hunting for revenge. They trade outside thigh kicks. Inside thigh kick from Oscar didn't catch him. Balk right hand or balk overhand right from Zambides. Clash of leg kicks. Zambides trying to tag him with that overhand lead. Rips to the body. Oh, he has hit it right. The big kibosh and Oscar shakes it off. Well, Zambidi's just consolidating now. He's looking very, very solid indeed. Oscar taking more hits than Sopranos in this fight, but he's still standing. The left hand just pokes him only a slip from the Crazy slip. John's logo, Tarek. Yes, on the Crazy John logo, and I tell you what, he did wear a good hit before. So um, that was a bit like Prince Hamid wearing those hits. Give him credit, he did wear that very well. Oh, flush! Flush, left left. Here comes Zambidi's! Here comes that was a flush of <laughs> I've never seen anyone take well, a left hook so solid. Well, Gokhan Oscar wish he played darts instead. Uncle Dave going crazy over in the corner. <laughs> Dave Hedge looking to blow a gasket here. He's not a hell of a a blood vessel. <laughs> High round kick there from Zambides. Another one. Oscar weaves out of the way of it. Zambides in control, so it seems. Goes high after dummying downstairs. Body shot from Zambides. He knows that that is the damaged rib cage that has hurt Gurkhan Oscar over in Europe early this year. Zambides wants to break his ribs wide open again. Double jab outside, thigh kick from Oscar. Clipping hook there from Oscar. Checks the low kick. He's got to keep his right hand up. Just a drop. It's just a slip. Only a slip on the ultra hair logo. Oscar trying to fire out his right hand. Where's the high kick upstairs? 
What an action-packed and intense final we are seeing. It is awesome, folks. Rib kicks here from Zambini's trying to break down the arms of Oscar now. Oscar just slipping. He may be fatigued. Well, as we as we saw with Zambini's versus Hamid, Oscar is enduring a lot of punishment. He's standing up. He's very tough indeed. But it's Zambini's dictating the fight. It's Zambini's who has taken it the step up and is scoring well overhand right Zambides wants to smash the absolute shiitake mushrooms out of it and Oscar getting caught Oscar oh, getting lucky caught lucky not to get a count there it was very unlucky not to get a count there Oscar Zambides more hooks than a tackle box but Zambides is, is tough and Oscar standing up to it a long hard road to the jaw a long hard road Oscar said separates them into the final stages of the second round. It is all Zambini. We've got one more to go. One more round to go in the final of the A1 World Combat Cup. And Tarak Solak, you couldn't have hoped for a finale than two of the hottest fighters on the planet. Definitely not. It's a great main event. And uh, I think Mike should have got a knockdown there. But the reason why he didn't is... He hit him on the floor again, and that influences the referee to make a decision against exactly, him. Exactly, exactly. Otherwise, that was a clean knockdown, and uh, it's a pity because Mike has lost a point on the first round, so he needs this knockdown so he can the start start hitting the uh, fight uh, forward. Otherwise, he might end up in a draw or, or a worse situation, and he doesn't want that because there's also serious money involved here. A draw? That would be a dream come true for you, wouldn't it? Uh, <laughs> but I tell you what, take nothing away from uh, Oscan. he's had a hard road to the final he's had a tough road to endure he's warned Zambidi's biggest shots in round one and round two and he's still standing and he's still competitive and I tell you what Gurkhan Oscan tonight has really shone and really stepped up but who can stop Zambidi's he is just unstoppable I'll have, to, I'll have to come ball. up with something very smart next time he is a wrecking <laughs> ball I say give him to Kadia Maruf Maybe we'll see that in 2005. Here we go, third round. Yes, Maruf will definitely be a good opposition for him. That's it. Feed him to the monster. Third round of the final. Who will be crowned the first ever A1 World Combat Cup champion? Will it be Gurkhan, Ozkan, right of screen, or the power lane? And Iron Mike Zambidis, another jumping hook there. Zambidis getting airborne. Overhand right from Zambidis. Well, Zambidis needs to get it down on Ozkan in this one, really, to take it uh, beyond controversy, perhaps. Outside thigh kick, Ozkan. Not enough mustard behind it to do any real damage. This Greek contingent rallying behind Zambidis. It sounds like a soccer match. Jab from Ozkan. Outside thigh kick, Ozkan. Ozkan's got to unload. He's got to go for the big kibosh. He's got to line up Big Bertha. Overhand right, Zambini's looking to put the nose through the back of the head. Overhand right from Ozkan. Body rip from Zambini's. Ozkan tags him with a hook. Whipping overhand right, just whistles. Past the brow of Ozkan. Body shot Zambini's. Ozkan straight right hand diesel piston. This oh, place big of body electric. shot. Zambini's complained about something, but the referee lets it go on. Outside thigh kick to the rear leg from Zambini's. Every time Oscar thinks he's got the answer, Zambini's changes the questions. Outside thigh kick from Zambo. Checks the low kick. A two traveling right hand and another one. And a third one. Then the left hook on Oscar. Oscar's going to get out of the corner. Almost a trip takedown, Hamilton Oscar. A little bit of, little bit of street tactics. Tactics. A little bit of Thai grappling, Thai footwork. Ozkan glances to his corner. Kenny on the roof shouting. Big overhand right. Ozkan trying to slug it out of there. Pecks him off with a front kick. Nicely done. Oh, Ozkan now starting to talk.
turn it into a bit of a street fight, Harry. He really does. Oh, it's a point off. It's evened up. Oh, it's evened it's evened up. up. Point deduction. Well, there you go. Dave Hitchcock doing it. Doing justice in centre ring. He's just he's keeping everyone above board. He's keeping it fair, Dave Hitchcock. Well, Dave Hitchcock really got his hands full, but I tell you what, what a job he's doing. Straight red hand, Zambini's. Well, red hand. It's a good old-fashioned body brick wall. Jerko looking at his corner for the answers. Zambini's really unleashing now. The big kibosh from Zambini's. Can he fire it out once again? Can he get the knockout blow? tell you what, it was uh, the battle of strategy from both fighters, but Zambidi's full-on 100% aggression here tonight, no love lost, well isn't that an understatement, some big shots on Oskan, and I tell you what, that man on, on camera now, Gurkhan Oskan had the hardest road into the final, he endured a couple of wars stepping into the final, and then indeed was the biggest battle of all for him. Did himself proud today. This is how it went down in the last. Zambidi's really going to work, winding up those body shots and headshots that he's renowned for. Looping punches, his forte, his specialty. Oscan getting a point taken off for grabbing and indeed holding the leg. Dave Hedgecock issuing some severe justice in centre ring, keeping them all honest. Guys, Malcolm Muller scores the fight. 29 27. Judge Jamal Hassan. 29-26, Judge Mark Corey, 29-26, it's a unanimous points decision, to the red corner, he's oh. done it, he's done it, the first ever A1 World Combat Cup champion is Iron Mike Zambini, and listen to the ovation, listen to the Well, Michael Mock, Iron Mike Zambides, what a class act, what an awesome athlete. The Greeks of Melbourne have turned out in their absolute droves. This is the new Greek idol. Iron Mike Zambides has just shown his superiority tonight, walked through all of his opponents, the biggest test for him was indeed Gurkhan Ozcan in the final. The man took all sorts of shots, all sorts of punishment wow. and was there to the bitter end for the judge's decision to be announced. You know, you got to be um, gracious, you know, he deserved it. I tried, I tried, kept on pushing but I just couldn't get that gear out of me but, um, you know, all respect to him and, and the crowd. You know, there's no cheap shots and um, just keep supporting us. Hopefully we'll be back. Would you be up for another fight with Mike Zambides? Hey, we're fighters. Come on. What do you think we're doing? What's wrong with you? Of course. Well, folks, he did it in style. The Greek pocket dynamo, Iron Mike Zambides, the A1 World Combat Cup champion. He took care of business against Gurkhan Ozkan. It was a wild fight. You couldn't have scripted it better if it was a movie, folks. And in the end, pound for pound, the finest fighter on the planet goes home with the gold around his waist. From myself, Michael Chevello, my verbal sparring partner, former Australian champion Mark, the Hammer Castanini, from Tarak Solex A1 World Combat Cup at the Vodafone Arena. It's good night.